Well, the van has arrived. The first impressions look very good. Let's just have a look in here. There we have it. Quite nice comfy seats. TV screen up there. TV screen up there. Table for uh, cards and uh, chess or whatever we're doing. Just need to get it packed. There is an unbelievable amount of storage space here. You've got all of that. I don't know if you can even tell how much that is. That was a good night in the Ibis. And now we're about to uh, set off for day two. Everyone's loading up in the van. A little supermarket nearby where we just picked up some uh, fossil. And we've got about four hours to uh, lay this out. So we have arrived in Ladies Out. We found a free parking space. It's big enough to get the uh, van in for the week. And I have to say, it's all gone incredibly smoothly. Not particularly nice right now, but we know it'll be snowy higher up. On our way back now, uh, just in the back there uh, with the kids, where there's a lot of space. Currently, they're uh, watching a movie, perfect for uh, teenagers. It's a lot more sociable back here. I'll give you a view of it in a minute. Okay, you can chat, use the table, all look on their phones. There's actually screens at both ends, so the two you can see the space you can jump in both screen at the same time. There's air conditioning back here as well, which is quite important. Oh, movie's taking over. Continue on A26 for 31 kilometres. So we've got about 60 kilometres to go to uh, Calais. We've just done our last fuel stop and um, yeah I'd say it's been a pretty good uh, journey. How do you, what do you think of the handling of the vehicle then? It's great. I really like it. I like being high up. I like the fact that it's really sturdy and it's really acceleration. Yeah and even when it was uh, windy there was some like, big crosswinds earlier but uh, it was good. I think being high up though that's uh, that's really important. There were a couple of times where we had some bit of bad traffic and I like the fact that you can see ahead. It is a manual, you're used to driving an automatic, but that, that as Pip said, it's like driving a, as riding a bike. Yep. Uh, it doesn't take long to get used to uh, yeah. again, once you can find a uh, reverse. When, um, you, when you've driven for so long, it's only been three years since I, <laughs> since I drove a stick as a manual, so good. Yeah, and the music is really good, we've connected up our phones with Bluetooth. 
so you can listen to anything you want to. Our rule is the driver chooses what music is on. So that, that makes uh, all the difference and the sound is pretty good. When the kids are watching a movie in the back, it can get a little noisy. We've had to get to turn it down a couple of times when there's big car chases. But otherwise, uh, you know, generally very good. And there's plenty of space here up front as well as that uh, in the back. Ha, 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 ha.